All right, well here we are in Indian Palms, taking a look at a condo on Odlum Drive. This is a two bedroom, two bath place we're gonna go in. I just wanted to give you a nice view of the street. Everything's in pretty nice shape here. Kinda hard to see through the trees. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. But over there where that blue netting is up, that is the tennis courts. So you're about 100 yards away from the tennis courts right out the front of your condo. Now I'm going to go inside. This place right here is the one for sale. You come in, you have your own little front patio area. It does need a new front door. You're going to see that as I show you here. Somehow with the last tennis, it's gotten a little beat up. I don't know if that's going to be handled or not. We'll have to find out from the other agents. But there's been a lot of refurbishing done on this condo. This place is in really great condition. This is one of the bedrooms you come in. It's immediately off to the right. It's got ceiling fans in it. It's got nice large mirrored closet doors. You can get, get an idea there of how big the room is. That was me stepping in. You come into a Jack and Jill bathroom where you've got the uh, toilet off on one side and a full shower and tub. Mirrored, uh, a nice big mirror there. The cabinets in here, they look like they've been repainted. I don't think they've been replaced, but maybe the knobs have. They're in nice shape though. Inside, maybe you could use some new paper. Okay. You got a couple of closets straight across from me here. And then you go into the main living area. Now just so you can see, the floor in here, it's all laid in a travertine style. This is a pretty large room. This is probably 25 feet long, maybe 30 feet long, uh, 16 or 20 feet wide. It's got a separate dining room area from the living room, the living room area being the carpeted spot. Nice big windows going off to the back to the patio. We'll go out there in one minute and finish up because you're going to love the pool area when we get it. Big open ceilings, they go up very high in here. They're probably good uh, 14 feet high or something like that. The kitchen area, which we're gonna go into here, has room for a good sized fridge. It might just barely fit a double door fridge. The cabinets in here look brand new. I mean, I can't swear to them or not. I'm not always the best judge of that. You could talk to Tracy on it. She's much better than I, but I think it looks brand new. I think the uh, Stove and the oven look brand new. You've got an overhead microwave. Okay, the sink area. It's, I, I would think this kitchen has all been redone. Uh, washer, or I'm sorry, dish, uh, dishwasher. You've got space for a washer and dryer here. It could be a stacked one if you needed the extra room. Something here, probably a little cabinet was removed because the tile stops in that one corner. Um, I hear they still have a workman that's doing something in here, and I don't know exactly what's going to be finished up, but we'd have to find out. The lamp fixture in here is is pretty nice condition. There's an area in the dining room, living room area, maybe it was a bar or something at one time, and it just wasn't holding up to condition, so they had it removed. There are power cords and stuff, phone cord, you know, all of that still in the wall there. A regular uh, coat closet here in the dining room area. We're going to go into the master bedroom now off on one side. Another ceiling fan. A nice view off the back. You can kind of see, I'm going to try to zoom in, the pool area right over there. Now that's only about 40 feet from where I'm standing and about 20 feet from the farthest edge of your back patio. In the master bedroom, of course, you do have your own private bath. You've got very big, these are probably uh, 10 feet or more of closed closet space. Those are five foot long, two five foot long mirror doors that make up your closet. A single sink here, but you do have a lot of counter space for stuff. Nice mirrors in, nice light fixtures overhead. In the master bathroom, you do have a shower. I don't see a shower head. 
Oh, it's still to go on. Okay, there's the uh, the faucet controls. It needs a shower head put onto it. Okay, and then you've got a uh, toilet in here. So there are still some things that can be done with this one. We're going to walk out front now. That's out, out back. You've got a covered patio area here just as you go out. So if you want to set up a, uh, a nice patio furniture set here, it would be a good place to have dinner. You also have extra space out here. See if I can get myself into a corner here so that you can see it. It's quite a bit of patio space. I mean, you got enough room here for a couple of chaise lounges, your dining room table, um, if you want to put bikes out here, whatever it is. And then just out the back of your patio, you've got the pool area. I'm not going to dwell on it too much because there's uh, somebody out here who's enjoying it right now and I don't want to invade their privacy. But it's a nice pool area. You've got really great views off the back. It's all very nicely landscaped. And there you have it. Uh, this one here is a little more than the others we've seen. It's 89.9, but this could be yours if you wanted it. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm gonna end here at the end, uh, just looking inside. And there you have it. Have a good day.